Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through a pretty easy song called Closing Time. Um, this song actually kind of starts off with a little lead in a lick, and if, uh, if you take the first finger and go all the way to 7th fret on the skinny E string, and the second finger on the B string on the 8th fret, and it's going to kind of start off going E, B, E, B, um, kind of holding down that shape. So we're going 7th on the high E, 8th on the B, 7th on the high E, 8th on the B, but then we're going to take the pinky and go all the way to 10th fret on the high E and kind of play that 10th fret note and then go back to the B string and then we lift it up to go back to the 7th fret and then the 8th fret on the B again. So all together you got 7, 8, 7, 8, 10, 8, 7, 8. And then we kind of start that over again going through the 7, 8, 7, 8. But then we're going to take the 3rd finger and go to the 8th fret on the high E to play that note and then come back to the B string. And then we're going to lift that up to go back to 7 and 8. So you're kind of holding down the first finger and the second finger through the whole thing. You're just adding and subtracting the other stuff. So you got 7, 8, 7, 8, 10, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, 7, 8. Kind of the whole thing going E, B, E, B, E, B, E, B through that whole lick. So the notes you're actually playing is you're going B, G, B, G, D, G, B, G, B. We're going to go into some chords. Um, we're, it's going to start on a G major chord. We're going to take the first finger and put them on the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going low E on the third fret. Third finger is going on the high E on the third fret. And for our verse and our chorus, we're going to kind of start on G major. And then from G major, which sounds really, really happy, we're, we're going to go to D major, which is kind of the triangle man. We're going to take one and put them on the G on the second fret. Second finger is going to the high E on the second fret. And third finger is going to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the top four strings, that's our D major chord. That sounds really, really happy. And then from there, we're going to an A minor chord. And when we play A minor, first finger is going to the B on the first fret. Second finger is going to the D on the second fret. Third finger is going to the G on the second fret. And if you strum all the strings with that, it makes A minor, and he kind of sounds kind of sad. And then from A minor, we're going to be going to a C major chord. And from where we are on A minor, all you really have to do is move the third finger to the A string on the third fret. But just to kind of walk through that whole thing, you've got one on the B on the first fret, second finger on the D on the second fret, third finger on the A on the third fret. And if you strum all the strings with that, that makes a C major chord. And that's pretty much our verse progression through the and chorus progression through the whole song. We've got our G major, D major, A minor, C major, G major, da da da, da D major. Ba, now to make that slightly more interesting though we could add something I call a strum pattern to that and uh, normally my favorite strum pattern <clears throat> for 4-4 four, four time like this is, is down down up up down up um, which you could try just that just by itself a, a lot like for instance you could take the G and just go down down up up down G down down up The weird thing with the song is the chords are what we call syncopated, where the chord change is kind of coming on on an upstroke with, with our pick. So what we we could start with the G and use that strum pattern, but we will divide it in half between the chords. So this is a little weird. You take the G and go down, down, and then you do the D with the up, up, down, up, and then we go to the A minor and go down, down, and then we just do the C on the up, up, down, up. So we got G with down. Is 
working off of sixteenth notes, and and what we're just using right now is, is something called eighth notes. This is kind of an eighth note strum pattern, where each of the downs uh, of your foot we kind of be divided into two parts. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. But a sixteenth note strum pattern works off a of subdivision of dividing the foot tap into four parts. Like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. My favorite sixteenth note strum pattern <clears throat> is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So if you're counting four, it's kind of like you're doing a down for four. One, two, three, four, and then you're doing a down on one, and then a down on three, down, and then an up on four, up, and then we're going to do a, a, an up, down, but we're doing the up on two, and a down on three, four, and then we do down, up, down, up for the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can take each little part of that. Actually, the first part's probably easier to get. Long down, and then a down, down, up. That's your one, two, three, four, 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 down, 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 up, down, 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 up. But then the weird part, I guess, is, is doing the, the one, two, three, four, with the up, down, up. Too bad, you're just doing that down, up, down, up, for one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, all together, you got long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So, if we were going to do that and try and sync the way that we were doing with, with the, the down, down, up, up, down, up strum pattern. And then we'd have kind of our, our down, 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 up. But then you want to go to the D for the up, down, down, up, down, up. And then you have the A minor for the down, 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 up. But then go to the C for the up, down, down, up, down, up. So we're kind of taking that 16th note pattern and then dividing it in half. So we should probably try that a lot. You got the G with the down, 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 up. And then we go to D for up, down, down, up, down, up. And the A minor with a long down, 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 up. But then we go to C for up, down, down, up, down, up. G with a long down, 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 up. D up, down, down, up, down. A minor down, 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 up. C up, down, down, up, down. G down. Now, in the middle of this song, there is a weird bridge that actually changes completely the, the key that you're in. Um, and for that part, you may want to use some things called power chords, if, if you're kind of new, because we're kind of going for ease of play. Um, and it goes to a B flat 5 power chord, or that would be one way to do it. And the way you play B flat 5 is we're going to take the first finger and put them on the low E on the 6th fret. And then we're going to take the third finger and play 8th fret on, on the A string. And if you strum just those two strings, that makes a B flat 5. Now if you know how to play a B flat major bar chord, then that would work too. Um, the way you do that, you take the first finger and put them across the entire 6th fret. Second finger goes on the G string on the 7th fret. Third finger goes on the A on the 8th fret. And the pinky goes underneath that on the D string uh, on the 8th fret. And you play all those together, that makes a B flat major. And then from there, we're going to go to an A flat major for the bridge. And you can completely ignore the bridge too. But then we go to A flat major. So we're going to slide that shape down to 4th fret. So now you got bar over the entire 4th fret. 
second finger on the G on the fifth, second finger on the A on the sixth, and the pinky underneath him on the on the D on the sixth, and that makes an A flat major chord. And then from there, it's going to an E flat major chord. And the way you play E flat major is we're going to bar sixth fret, and then we're going to take two and put them on the D on the eighth fret, third finger on the G on the eighth fret, and the pinky underneath him on the B string on the eighth fret. That makes an E flat major chord. Now, that, sometimes that's a little bit easier if you just take the third finger and try and kind of do a bar over the D, G, and B. Kind of turn it into a two finger, well, but double bar kind of chord. So in our bridge, we've got B flat major, A flat major, E flat major, E flat major, B flat major, A flat major, E flat major, E flat major. E flat major, A flat major, E flat major, E flat major, and then you go back into our verse chorus. So we go back into our G, B, A minor, C after that. So in that part, it's all instrumental. If you're playing out acoustic, you know, solo, you probably don't even need to worry about that part. If you want to do just the the power chords, though, like we were talking before, the B flat five. You're gonna go sixth fret on the low E on, or yeah, on the low E sixth, and then third finger is going to the A on the eighth fret. If you play just those two notes together, that makes something called B flat five. So you could use B flat five for the B flat major. You could take that shape and slide it down to fourth fret, and then you got fourth fret on the low E on, on uh, yep, and then third finger on the A on the sixth fret, and that would make an A flat major chord. And then, actually, you could play an E flat five, and this probably wouldn't be too too hard to just take that shape and slide it to eleventh fret. So then you got first finger on eleven, third finger on the A string on the thirteenth fret, and that would make an E flat five. So you could do just the power chords. So it's kind of two string strums, and they just sound really powerful. So you have B flat five, A flat five, E flat five, E flat five, B flat five, A flat five, E flat five, E flat five. B flat five, A flat five, B flat five, B flat five, and then you'd be back into your verse progression. So G down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down,